In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use email invites. The purpose of this feature is to allow members to send email invitations to non-members to join the network. So you might want to have your users invite their friends to join, or you could even make your whole network private and have registrations only through invites. So we'll go ahead and activate the email invites component. And then we'll go into the settings. And you'll see we have some options here, email subject, email content, and then these options are only here because we've enabled profile types. If I go into profile settings and turn off profile types, then these go away. I'm going to turn them back on because I want to show you those settings as well. And I have another video showing you how to configure profile types. So if you're interested in learning more about these, just watch that other video. So first, let me just show you the feature and then we'll come back to all the options. If I go in my profile, I can go to email invites, send invites. And from here, I can add the name and email of the person who I want to invite into the network. And I could add as many as five in one batch. So like I could say Bob. I'm just making that up. And then it says you've been invited by Michael to join the Buddy Boss platform community. So that's the default email. Of course, this is my name and this is the name of my website. So it would be relevant to your site. And I click send invites. And it's going to send an email to Bob at AOL.com. And his email is going to have a link telling him that he's been invited to join the network and he can click it and join. And then here in the back end, we can go to invites. This is for the admins. And we can see that user Michael sent an invite to Bob. And that's Bob's email. That's the date he was invited. And here's the status. So currently the status is pending. I can click to revoke the invitation. He can also click to revoke the invitation. And then the email is already out. But if the guy tries to use the link, it won't work anymore. And then if this guy signs up using that link, then we can attribute that back to this user. And so the status here will show that that they signed up and it'll show that they signed up here as well. And then we can go back into our options. So if I go into settings invites, I can allow the member to customize the subject as well. So now they can overwrite this subject and content of the email or I can turn both of those off. And now all they can do is send the invite. They have no control over the content of the invite. I want to show you one more thing before I get to the profile types. Here under settings general, we can see that registrations are currently enabled. Let's go ahead and turn that off. So now if you try to register to the site, it won't let you. But it tells us now because email invites is enabled, invited users will still be allowed to register new accounts. So this is what's going to allow you to create a kind of private network where you turn off re open registration. But if email invites is enabled, those users, when they click the link, will still receive the registration form. Same as you see over here, it says registration is currently disabled because email invites is enabled. They'll be able to register new accounts and you can still assign the pages for that. OK, so then let's go back into our settings. Invites. And we can see we can allow members to select profile type of invitee. So let's save that. And then we have to customize this within the profile types. So let's invite, let's edit the teacher one. So now we see options for email invites added. Allow members to select the profile type that the invited recipient will be automatically signed to on registration. Select which of the below profile types can be signed to the recipient. So I'm going to check that and I'll say teachers and students. So what this means is that users who are of the teacher profile type, when they invite other users into the network, they can pick which type that user should be registered as. So we could limit it to just students, and then the people they invite will always be registered in as students. So you might have some kind of hierarchy of users and you want them to invite special ways. So we'll go like that. And let's go to our members directory and log in as someone who's a teacher. So Charles here is a teacher and view as. So I'm logged in as Charles now, and I'm going to go to send invites. And now when I invite somebody, 
I get to pick what profile type they will be registered as. So I can invite a fellow teacher and add their email, and I can invite a few of my students and put them as student types. And so that teacher will, when they register, they'll automatically be put in as a teacher. The students, when they register, will automatically be put in as students. And I'm able to do this because I'm a teacher and the, those are the permissions that were given to me. And then coming back into our options here, we have one more option related to profile type. Only allow the selected profile types to send invites. So I'm gonna say teachers. So now users who are logged in as teachers can invite other members into the network, but users who are logged in as students cannot. 